Hey there, everybody. So what are we doing today? Well, we get a lot of questions from folks saying, how do we do the reviews? You know, what's our methodology, that kind of stuff. And so I thought, why not do a behind the scenes of a grip review? Uh, this is a gun I'm reviewing for Gateway Air Guns, part of the grip review program. This is actually the holiday giveaway gun that we're doing. This is a uh, an Umarex Origin 22 caliber. And um, we're going to see how it does. Uh, the first thing we do is just shoot it. we got to get some trigger time with the gun, learn it, see what it likes, what it doesn't like. Uh, and then we deal with fine-tuning it. I've got a stack of pellets. Uh, let me go grab them real quick. So this here is just some of the pellets um, that we test. Uh, we don't test all of these with every gun. Sometimes we come across one that just shoots really good right up the right off the bat. Uh, we've you know done this enough to kind of know that certain guns are going to like certain pellets. So we do you know if we find something that's drilling you know sub one inch at 50 yards, that's awesome. Um, but then we also try and look around to see if there's something that might surprise us. Uh, but this is just a little bit of what we'll go through, and then when we do the actual review. We may show like the top couple because it's a lot of work to shoot all the footage and then all of a sudden we've got you know uh, a bunch of footage of stuff that doesn't work that's kind of you know why show that but any case this is just a little bit about what we got going on the other thing i really love um let me grab my phone i'll need it uh, because this really helps when we are doing the uh, just testing the FX chronograph because you don't have to shoot over a fixed position. I can actually be testing pellets while getting a feel for how the whole shot curve works and how the system works. Super handy. I, if you are into specifics about your gun and you're kind of a numbers person, the, but the FX chronograph is awesome. They just did an update to the software too, which I noticed yesterday when I went to use it. Um, but I'm going to like create a new profile here, and this is the origin. Is it down here? So I can go to that um, profile, put in my, you know, the stuff on the gun, and then I can get numbers, and I can, you know, create um, multiple profiles for each pellet. So it's really cool just from pure numbers, uh, pure numbers perspective. This is super handy. But this is some of the work we do before you guys ever see any videos. We go through all of this, so we may have, or I may have, I don't know, four, five, six hours into just shooting and testing and figuring stuff out before we show you guys, uh, before we even shoot the video. So today, I'm hopeful uh, that I'll, because I've already been shooting this quite a bit, that I'll be able to shoot video today, get it edited before the contest is done so people can actually see what the gun can do. This thing's shooting very, very well. I uh, just shot the Crossman Premieres, which I'm going to do another group of those. And I bet you they're just over an inch at 50 yards, which for Premieres, just cheap Walmart pellets, um, that's pretty good. I mean, we have a 100-yard range here, so we can stretch it out a little bit. But probably going to stick to 50. I think this is more 50-yard gun. But, you know, inch groups at 50, that is, that is great out of an inexpensive air gun. So super pumped on that. So let me go ahead and change my profile settings. All right. <clears throat> so I'm not going to put in pellet information because it's going to keep changing. All right, I guess I could put these in 14.3. Okay, and all right. So now we can go to the shot string. And now I, if I wanted to, I could just keep updating this and changing it and saving the string, and I just would have a ton of data at the end of all of this, which might be worth might be worth publishing at some point in time. Okay. Let's see what we got here. So my last shot, or my last group was high right. Um, maybe about, uh, I'm using, uh, I'm at about 13 power on the scope. And I am sitting at exactly one mil high and one mil right. So let me see if I can use my mil dots to dial this in here. Okay, that is... <laughs> A spread of 12, uh, standard deviation of 4.2, that's on 10 shots. That's pretty good. I mean, that low of the 53 kind of threw us off, but, you know, that is, that's not bad. Well, I've got a bunch of other pellets here to go through, but now you guys kind of see a little bit of this. As I do this review, I'll do more behind the scenes of what we're doing and how we do it. 
Um, I think that you guys might find that interesting. For now, that's going to be it. I'll be back after a little bit. See ya. All right, guys. So after a bunch of testing, we have our top performing pellets. And the surprise we had today was we had a slug that did very, very well. Um, the H&N hollow point slugs here. These are the 23 grain. No, these are the wrong ones. The 25 grain is the one we want. A 25 grain, um, 0.217. Those shot really, really well, surprisingly well. Um, also, I think from just a, a general utility pellet, the cross mirrors did very well. And as far as just pure accuracy, is if you're just shooting targets, the 15.8.9s came in uh, very, very strong. Um, beautiful thing that I'm seeing with these is they're all in the right, in the same area at 50 yards. So with just a minor adjustment use of your mill dots, don't really have to adjust the scope to put these in the bowl. So that's actually pretty cool. So we're going to get ready to shoot our accuracy portion here in a, in a little bit. But before we do that, we've got to get the full-on, uh, you know, shot strength. So uh, because of, I, I'm going to use the, the best pellet, which was the 15.8.9s, and supply short on, well, at least on the H&N uh, hollow points. And I haven't been to Walmart to get any more premieres lately. So I know I'm going to need probably 40 maybe or so pellets just to get a good shot string. So I'll go ahead and do those with the 15.8.9s. That'll let us know what the gun can do. And there is a bit of a curve with this gun. So something you're going to have to kind of work out. Um, if you own an Origin, you may find that uh, you can fill it up all the way and get a bunch of shots. Or maybe filling it to say, I don't know, uh, 3,000 PSI gives you fewer shots but more consistent shots on target. Where you're not having to, you know adjust quite so much. So anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and get that shot string. Next we're going to do, uh, we'll get our trigger pull and our DB numbers, and then it's really time to shoot all the accuracy stuff, and then we go back into the studio and actually shoot the narrative for the uh, for the grip review. So right now I'm going to go ahead and shoot our shot string, get what we're going to get for that, and then um, I'll see you guys back in the studio, uh, kind of show you guys what goes on in there as we get things set up to shoot the actual narrative of the video. And then I gotta go edit. And then once that's done, you guys get to see the full grip reviews. Hey there, everybody. I know um, I haven't shown you guys this. Uh, if you've been watching my lives, you guys know I did this little test of this cool compressor. This is a battery powered personal compressor um, sent to me by GX Pumps. This is a very, very cool unit. And I've been using this for all of my uh, outside work because I don't have to, I don't have power here, so I either have to drag a cable over or run off a battery I have behind me here. But this makes it super easy, just to see you guys can see what we do in between things. Auto shut off. I put an hour meter on here so I know when to charge my batteries. This thing's been running great, and I'm getting the use of the batteries like they say. It's about an hour's worth of runtime. So if it takes five to six minutes to top your gun off, you know when you need to go ahead and charge your batteries up again. This thing works really cool. I'm going to show you just how cool it is here. So we've got our bleeder here, our power switches and stuff over here. Go ahead and fire it up. Hit the start button. Shut the bleeder. And it fills relatively quickly. I'll go ahead and let this run so you guys, and then I'll put the time up there how long it, it took to, to top this gun off. Um, it's not fully empty, but I want to, before I do my crony numbers, I want to make sure that I'm right at, you know, the advertised fill pressure before I go back and try and uh, get my shot straight. Okay. All right, that's it. We're done. Very, very cool little compressor. And as I said, I've been using this quite a bit. And uh, I love it. My goodness, not having to have a battery, a big battery, or hook it to my car, or have to have power. I could just take this and top my gun off. And I've been topping this off a bunch, several times already today. Um, but wanted to show you guys how, you know, what I'm doing, how I'm doing it. Very, very cool. All right, time to shoot some crony numbers. All right, it's now time for us to shoot our accuracy portion of the video. And of course, it, so far today, we've had just beautiful conditions. I mean, near perfect, almost no breeze whatsoever, just dead calm. And I knew that we were supposed to get some wind today, so I was out early this morning. And uh, yeah, we're starting to see the wind pick up. We've got a steady six to eight mile an hour wind. Fortunately, it's coming 
basically from directly behind us, so I don't think it's going to give us any issues, but nonetheless, i um, going to stick to just 50 yards today because it's supposed to get to like 12 to 15, up to 30 mile an hour gusts today, so we've got to sort of wrap this up quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot. I know that 40 shots is our limit. It really starts to dive after that. You'll probably get more if you're shooting closer. Um, but 40 shots seems to be pretty usable. I'm going to go ahead and start with the premieres. And what I've got down there, just so you guys know how we do it, I normally will set up like a test target off, off camera so I can maybe take a shot or two to make sure my zero is still good and something hasn't happened. Um, and then I'll go ahead and shoot my full 10-shot string on the other target. Um, the one that you guys see on camera. The other thing that <clears throat> that I am also doing is I am not going to adjust the scope for each pellet. Um, it becomes uh, just a lot of work. Not that I'm shy of the work, but we're short on time. So the other part of taking a couple test shots is that I'm able to uh, judge with mill dots and then when I put on target, do the best I can to put it in the center. All right, so I'll um, go ahead and take a couple shots just to see where these premieres are hitting. And that wind is definitely picking up on us now. Oh, premieres are... Well, let me take one more because that was trying to drill right through the center. Yeah, uh, that's going to be fine. All right, so I'll go ahead and reload. And then we'll get our premieres done. And then we'll shoot the 15.8.9s, and then we'll save the, the slugs for last, because those were pretty impressive. All right, here we go. Now that wind is definitely picking up, so we're going to have to get through this quickly here. Okay, so that's the pellet testing part. Uh, yeah, the slug shot great. Um, Obviously, I would want to, and you'll see this on the review, I'd want to move, adjust my scope. If this is what I was going to run all the time, I'd just adjust my scope for that. But that was like a nickel group at 50 yards in gusty, windy conditions. That's why I guess people really like the slugs. Guys, that's going to be it for outside here. I do have a, like the trigger test and the, and the DB test, but we're going to do that off camera. And I'll take all those numbers in, and then I'll show you guys what the studio looks like. And then... We'll go ahead and shoot the narrative, and then we'll be done. All right, everybody. So this is the studio in all its messy glory right now. It has been a crazy bit of time between uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas and all this stuff. We've just absolutely been buried. So the place is a wreck. But it doesn't mean that the show won't go on. We're going to get set up over here behind me uh, and get staged up and go ahead and start filming for this uh for this origin review. This has been a little bit behind the scenes and I mean it is, there's a lot that goes on to making a simple little 10 minute video. There's, I don't know, 12 to 15 hours depending on the product. So it's a lot of work, but we're happy to do it and it's a lot of fun. So uh, be sure to check out, if, if you've already watched the video and you're watching the behind the scenes, I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed it. If this comes out first and you then get to watch the review, well, I hope you guys enjoy that, too. I don't know which will get edited first. So um, we're going to shoot our video here. And then what I'll probably do is show you where I do my editing and uh, give you a little taste of what that's like. That's a whole nother ball game. So, guys, that's going to be it for now. I'm going to go get set up and get the rest of this video done. Hey there. So we are in the studio now, uh, the editing studio. And, again, it's a mess. So forgive the, the clutter and all the stuff. But this is where I do my live shows, by the way. I do them right out of here. And I'm, this is my editing rig over here that I'm, I've got to do, got to work on the photographs that we use for the videos. And then I'll start dealing with uh, the actual video editing. This is all something that goes into everything that, that happens there. Every little 10 minute video you guys see or 15 minute video may have 10, 12, 15, 18 hours involved into getting you that little snippet of what we say is usable information. So I hope that you guys have found the whole process learning about it. Again, I forgive the sound. There's all kinds of noise in here, so I, please forgive the audio here. Um, but I, I hope that you guys have enjoyed just the whole process of learning what kind of goes on a little bit behind the scenes here. And maybe you guys will understand uh, the work that goes in because what we're trying to do is just get you that raw data, just get you that information that allows you guys 
to make a good decision um, based on just hard facts and not something subjective. I mean, we all have things we like and don't like, and I'm trying to leave that out of the equation and just give you just the raw data so you guys can make up your own mind. All right, guys, that's going to be it. I've got to get to work here. Lots of stuff yet to do to finish up this video to try and get it done in time so you guys can still see it and still enter the contest and have a chance to win this uh, Umrex Origin. Very, very cool gun. If you like what we're doing, please let us know. If there's products you'd like us to be looking at, let us know that too because we would like to reach out to manufacturers and see if they will help support what we're doing here with Grip. Um, it's a lot of fun. We're having a great time, and I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. That's going to be it for now. My name's Rick with Gateway Air Guns and the Grip Review Program. See ya.